What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? How's it going? It is your boy, Rican Player. We are here. We are live. Welcome to the Around the Nation, episode number 27. How's everyone doing? Um, just really quick, as as you can see, uh, Mr. Uh, Bloody Zellos is, is not there, but uh, Adora is facing sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bloody Zellos is sick, but he is in chat with us. So, uh, what's up, Bloody? How you doing? Um, so, Adora286 has uh, joined us uh, to cover for Mr. Bloody Zellos. And uh, just to let you guys know, Around the Nation is sponsored by Binks.tv and Alibi Music. Music to back up your story. And Anime for Humanity. So we'd like to say welcome, welcome everyone to the Around the Nation. We're still going to give you a good show. Uh, how you doing, Adora? I'm doing a lot better last week. <laughs> a lot better than last week? Yeah. Gotcha. What you what you been up to lately? Playing a scary game last week. <laughs> a days ago, actually, you take it back. Playing a scary game I had, I had nightmares about. <laughs> How you doing, Cosmic? No, it's not that I did not recognize you. <laughs> I see that you're there. Hello, hello, hello. Um. I hear. So, if Bloody can wear a little cat ears on his own, what that kind of wear? I can wear bunny ears. You don't have to wear the um, that's freaking awesome. So, uh, can you give us a little bit of detail, uh, what scary game it was and what, what happened? I mean, I was there, so, but I, I would like you to, uh, let everyone know who wasn't there, uh, know what happened. <laughs> no, he's not that old. <laughs> wow, GTA Mama. Even though she's sitting right next to me. Wow. And Cosmic T, how dare you, 89 years old. I mean, if, if I was 89 years old, damn, I'd look good. Hey, and GTA Mama dropping in some Binks coin, uh, Binks, either a Binks spin or Binks coins. Make sure you, uh, go ahead and, uh, claim those codes. If Bloody can uh, put in the uh, link for the vouchers. Um, so give us give us an explanation on what game it was and, and what, what got you scared. I can't even pronounce the name. Phasopho the Phasmophobia or something like that. It's a ghost game adventure. Uh, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like a ghost adventure game. Yo, Riken. I guess we need to play Rocket League episode. sometimes. <laughs> well, not today, Cosmic. Not today. Podcast day. Um All right. Um so it, it's called Phas Phasmophobia or something like that, which is kind of like yeah. a like a ghost hunter game. Um so if you are fans of, you know, ghost adventurers or ghost catchers or paranormal activity, uh, this game is is really, really, uh, really intense. Scary. Really, really <laughs> scary. I literally jumped out of my chair on the floor. Uh, let's just say we, I, I can say we, we practically almost had you crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reading my own cry like mommy. Hey mate. How you doing, Jay Hudson? How's it going? Um so <laughs> Okay, so let's uh let's let's uh kind of explain a little bit, right? You know what? Let me go ahead and um who is streaming the game? I don't I don't think uh. I was streaming the game. I, I think nobody was streaming the game. 
Oh, that's right. Nobody was. Okay. So let me actually let me actually pull this up real quick. So so you guys can actually see the game. Um Yeah, that's the game. Yeah. So let me let me go ahead and play the trailer. Oh, and apparently there's there's been an update. There's an update on the game. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right. You don't want to play it tonight. I don't want to play it tonight. <laughs> That's what I need my bed. I do that now. <laughs> All right. So so here's the game, right? And and what we're gonna do is. We are going to pause this real quick so you guys can actually see the game play on it. Um, very, very, very interesting. Terrifying. I like watching people play it, but we play it. Hell no. I doesn't. Let me see if I can get it to where you guys can hear it. Give me one second. Oh, the one game was scary. It is. It the cake. Steam. Game. I like the monster. The guy can kill a steam queen fighter. Take a queen fighter any day. Okay, so here it is. Riken, first podcast, guys. Um, Wait, what? I okay, I've checked the water and it's dirty. That means we're dealing with either a spirit or a wraith. Oh. We're not oh. We still need more information. So... You're basically in a house. You have to figure out what type of ghosts they are. And mm -hmm. there are different, there are like a whole bunch of different types of ghosts and everything. Anti, demon, paranormal. Yep. And they give you, they give you all the tools that they use, you know, for, for ghost hunting and stuff. So you have an EMF, you have a, oh, there it is. Flashlight, UV flashlight. Um, uh, spirit box. They give you cameras, tripods, and all that other stuff. And all the uh, good ghost goodies, pretty much. Yeah. So basically, each ghost reacts differently in the game. It's so you have to do different the things. In the basement. I'll use the spirit box to get a confirmation. Um, okay. If you don't get a reading, then look around with a UV light for anything out of the order. This is VR compatible. All right, so, I got some gonna you know, try it in VR. Yes, it is. It is Ghost Hunters. Um, it is VR compatible. Um, and to let you guys know, supposedly some of the streamers that have played this with VR says it's very intense. Sign? Like it's, it, it's even scarier not mad with about VR. It got a reading on the spirit box. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> You're welcome, bloody. Anytime, anytime you're sick, you let me know. I'll hop in gladly with the bunny, little bunny hoppy. Hey, your vitals aren't looking good. You need to pack up and leave as soon as you can. You're risking your life from this point on. Keep on, got me busted. Caught me on Discord. Not doing anything this. You was up and about. He says he loves the blue Thanks. hair, though. <laughs> Hello. Mom's gonna kill me later. Oh. Oh. Yep. Phasmophobia. And it's a four player co op. You don't have to play with uh, VR in it. 
so uh, it, it is optional and stuff like that. So this is basically what uh, me, Adora, and uh, Darth and Geo played last and week. I mean. And I And yeah, he played one one match with us, right? Um, yeah. So you got the tutorial and the beginning. You had to play it first. Think of play it first. But that's yeah, me. there there's a tutorial in the very beginning that shows you how to use all the different devices and stuff like that before you can actually play with other players, and uh, let's just say Adora was the last one, and basically she just I think my heavy ass in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> she basically did not want to get out of the truck to do any of the objectives to try to find, you know, the ghosts and stuff. So hey, I help a big <laughs> someone needs to be I keep an eye on the board. The four the team. Let's just say you, you, you just didn't want to go in that. you just didn't want to go in, in the house at all. No <laughs> <laughs> Bloody I don't think you're get. Bloody, I'm gonna tell you right now, you would freaking love this game. This game is is definitely, definitely up this your alley. Is bloody and can't the list so game. I don't yeah. like hear you. Yeah, they they have a Ouija board and everything and all that stuff. I mean, literally a lot of things you can use for ghosts. So, um, but you can get the book and you can put down and have them write it. When I take it, when yeah. I the demon. You're trying to look for ghost writing. You're trying to look for handprints on the walls, like on the doors and stuff. They yeah, basically they tell you. Um, temperature, Rainbow. temperature gauge, so you can check temperature in rooms and stuff like that. So, but um, yeah, the entire time Adora did not want to go into the house at all. <laughs> so she was the truck monitor person the entire time. Um, and then at one point that, uh, so basically you have an insanity meter, right? God forced me to go into the house in a way. So basically you have a certain amount of insanity in order, f uh, in order for you to stay in the house. As soon as your insanity drops down to a certain percentage, you are at high risk of the ghosts getting really mad and actually coming after you. So, um, basically eh, eh. Geo, me Not and anymore. Darth were on very low insanity right so basically if we risk going into the Ew. house literally the ghost would come after us no matter what so adora since she wasn't in the tr in the house at all had a like 90 percent insanity and basically had to go into the house herself um and she was freaking out like, who are you she was freaking me. out. She literally was like, "Oh my god, I feel I I can, I can hear it, I can hear him talking behind me, behind me and all this other stuff." So <laughs> I mean, it, it was I freaking. Like, walk it I wish they remastered Phantomagoria. Phantomagoria around the nation. Hello, if you are real free and have high quality service. Um, uh, 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 thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Now, bloody's there, Adora. Don't worry about it. I got it anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's all right. Um, so I, I I've never heard of that game, Bloody. Uh, I I would actually look into it. Is it in Steam or anything? Like, can you play it on PC at all? 1995. I'm 15. Wow. That's crazy. That's how old that, that old that game is. All right, hold on. Let me let me switch screens here real quick so we can. Uh, um. So, so yeah. So other than that, how how was your your day, Adora? Be, be you know like your week. Besides the fact that you know you got scared, you couldn't sleep. Um. You nearly I killed. I you ne you nearly <laughs> killed Geo apparently. <laughs> yes, that's that's a so, oopsie. So explain um, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up some corn dogs and he realized they went bad real quick. So, and he had me, honey, come here. He says, I bite down. 
Ew, I did like mo or corn oh corn dog. No. Eat flat refuse to eat anything eat anything that I eat. Or mating. But So wait, you almost killed him with a dog? A wiener? Corn dog. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. So so you almost killed Gio with a wiener. Um yeah. Okay. That that's that's a very interesting story. She almost killed Gio with a wiener. Yes. <laughs> he says <Epic> Epic Adora. <laughs> Well, with an accident. Did me too. Oh man. But so yesterday I wore my ass out. I moved the bed by myself. With nobody help. Oh yeah, she did was, some. You did some house cleaning yesterday, right? Yeah, I moved to bed. I passed out. I didn't know Gio came home, and I wake up with a face in my face. <laughs> He's like <Wow>. this. Wow. <laughs> so, what was the reason you moved your your bed from one room to the other? Uh, so Gio can get ready to stream VR again. Oh, so wait a minute. You're, you're saying that Geo, uh, can we can we give a quick shout out for for Geo, guy named Geo, is going to start streaming VR. I mean that that is really really awesome. And he wants to get more games for the VR so he can entertain <laughs> you guys. Nice, nice. Um, so. Do you know what games he's going to be playing for VR? Like, has uh, he has right he made now, a list of? I'm play right now is Lone Echo and VR Chat. And it's silly. It, 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 Lone Echo is a pretty cool game, but one thing, don't ask me to play it. Oh, he can actually I do. Mean, he can actually do Sansar. Yeah, he can do Sansar, or he can do the like the midget thing. Lightsaber thing. Oh, Beat Saber? Yeah, Beat Saber. I, I want to try that game so much. <laughs> I do too. Um, wait, Outlast and Outlast 2 he can play on VR? Do they have it for VR? Yeah, that's, that's kind of his kind of game he will play, but me give me a play, I was like, go home and never come back, can he? <laughs> I will give that game away quickly in the heartbeat. Oh man, Emily wants to play. Emily wants to play too. <laughs> no, I don't like. All right. I got some games I don't even play because I'm too scared to play them. That that's awesome. But um. Do you know Last when he's week. you know when he's gonna start streaming? Not yet. It's as soon as I get ready to finish the front bedroom so we get his, his stream set up for him so he can get it up and going. Okay, so he still has the the official setup. Yeah. Oh, he okay. has three sensors that he gotta put up behind him so he can make a complete circle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, all right, so let's go ahead. We, we don't have that many news on Twitch that is going on, um, but we do have some gaming news, um, some unfortunately COVID news and things like that, that, that we're gonna, that we're gonna talk about. What? Okay, well, uh. That's not one of the cloud to topics. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go into um, our, our main topic here. And again, this is kind of, again, this is not streaming or Twitch uh, news, but it's, it's some news that is really, really affecting a lot of people. Um, and let's just say this, guys. Um, COVID is really doing a number on our communities, our, on our 
uh, society and everything. So currently, yesterday, Disney uh, CEO has officially announced that they're going to be laying off 28,000 employees due to COVID impact. And what's going on, and for those of you who don't know, what's going on is... And this is in this is in bloody side of town. That that's the reason why this is come the, the news is coming up. So, uh, as as you all know, Disneyland has still not opened uh, since in, in seven months. Seven months it's been closed, and all of the resorts and everything that are surrounding uh, Disneyland have also been shut down. The businesses have been shut down as well. So. Because of that, um, and the reason why it's shut down is because the governor of California refuses to reopen California. Um, and basically, you know, putting people still on lockdown, which is causing Disney to Disneyland to not be able to open and invite guests in. So it's been it's been a ghost town in Disneyland for seven months. And basically, the CEO of Disneyland has been talking with the governor saying, hey, listen, we need to get rolling. You know, in, in Orlando, Disney Disney World has opened um, to full capacity. Um, they, they have opened to full capacity, but yet we have not opened for seven months and we need to make an income or, or something. And then also, you know, to help the, the businesses around Disneyland. Well, he's refusing to, to, like, literally he's saying, oh, we're close, we're close, we're close to reopening. But look at the results that are happening. So because of Disneyland being closed for seven months, they're not able to pay their employees. And then at the same time, too, they are... It's also affecting the um, employees in Orlando as well. So out of those 28,000 employees, um, the part-timers are the ones that are being let go. And not only in California, but in Orlando as well. So, yeah. Um, so a lot of people are going to be getting let go in the past in the past next few days. And guess what? There's no forego or f Fargo, Forgo, furlough. furlough. Yeah, there we go. Furlough. Um, that's going to be available to them. So basically, those uh, twenty-eight thousand part-time employees are screwed. And then at the same time, nobody else is hiring. So, um, yeah, I think uh, Mr. Bloody, you need to uh, get on your governor and tell him to take his you know head out of his ass, ass <laughs> more like get off his high horse and open a damn park yeah and literally just uh basically impacting i mean it's it's impacting a lot of people right now so the uh hey, unemployment been, rate um, is going to be substantially very high in the next few days um you know so that that is yeah i feel sorry for all the the employees that are going to be getting let go um i do wish them so you want more deaths no it's not that they it's not that we want more deaths uh bloody it's just the fact of they're i mean look at disney world right now disney world is is opening they're um they're doing they're doing full capacity but at the same time too they are doing social distancing they're making sure people are doing social distancing and there has not been a case in walt disney world you know stating that anyone has caught covid by visiting disney world um um they made i don't feel sorry at all they made their bed lay in it because they bribed them i don't get what you mean by that yeah i'm like confused <clears throat> so 
may have been not like a lie in it. You mean the, you mean the part timers, or do you mean Disney has Disney has a horrible reputation? I'm not defending Disney. I, I'm in, in no way, shape, or form am I defending Disney uh, because I can tell you right now, as a five and a half year employee for um, Disney, um, they do not give two craps about their employees. I'm sorry, cast members. <laughs> <laughs> cast members so um deaths they keep uh the person alive till I'm they kitty. leave the park I'm kitty. <clears throat> wow so so um with, with with that you know like i said um i mean i just literally feel bad for the employees um it it, it just sucks because now now they're going to be unemployed they're not going to be able to find a job and stuff like that. Um, with that being said, GTA Mama came in and said, you know, that they were uh, they were really close to apparently approving the uh, stimulus checks and that they're going to be distributed soon. Again, you know, it's yep. been when was the last time we got our last stimulus check, which was June, April, April, May, June. Um. It so it's, it's been five months since we've gotten any assistance from the government and that's what the government is there for is to make sure that their citizens of the United States are safe but it doesn't seem like that's happening um, I'm, I'm not too happy about it either because of the fact that you know again not I mean it's not really affecting us but at the same time it is, it is affecting people that are losing their homes uh, becoming homeless and stuff like that. And then you have the president that thinks he is the best president in the entire world, which we're not going to get into. Um, you know, um, and that he has done no wrong, but yet things things are not looking good. So, but that's just my opinion. Um, but I, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to get into that. Um, uh, mental health. Oh, yes. I I have, and and yeah. I mean, a, a lot of people are gonna need anime for humanity, <laughs> and that's where they can go. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Hugs and cuddles yeah, with yeah. cosmic tea. Um. So that's that's one of the the uh, most sad news uh, this week. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way because of the fact that, you know, again, I, I, I do feel sorry for all the 28,000 employees that are that are losing their job. Not only in California, but in here in in, or, in Orlando, Florida, too. <clears throat> all right. On to the next one, which was this is this is actually a pretty big one. I, I want to say how many of you guys bleep Disney's management team? Yes, I agree, bloody. <laughs> How many of you uh, love and play Among Us uh, on on PC or mobile? This was announced last week. Yeah, but we didn't have a podcast last week, Cosmic. <laughs> so we're bringing it up this week. <laughs> Oh, guy named Geo comes in. Oh, no hug command. Lazy mod. <laughs> More like sticky mod. All right. So, um, Adora, what do you what do you think of uh, the the announcement that uh, Among Us is not getting a second? Well, let me let me rephrase that. They are canceling Among Us 2, but the stuff that they were going to put in Among Us 2, they're actually implementing it in the first one. So what do you, what do you think of, of that? Is they put the screw loose on their heads? <laughs> now they go find the screw, the screw and put it back in their heads. So basically what's going on, Adora, is the fact that they are they are oh, all the stuff that they were implementing in and that they were going to implement in the second one 
they're it's going to be an additional feature in the first one so they're not they're not uh, making a new one they're just taking the content from the second one and instead of making a second game they're just going to take that content and put it in the first one so there's going to be more maps more things that are going on things like that so uh, what, what do you think about that i think we're pretty be pretty cool because there's a lot of content out there I ain't never heard of. But they need to make it more, more discreet for the uh, imposter. So you you're, you think that they should they should make it more difficult for the imposters to to get kills and stuff? Yeah. Adora's head is so tiny. I think she she lowered her seat or something. <laughs> anyway, there she goes. Should, should we do? I should we do a, a? Should we do a posture check? Uh, a channel point. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not, she not must yet. be leaning back. Yes, she probably is. <laughs> I, I did take a small cat nap. Oh man. So um. So what do you guys think of of them? Again, you know, um. Basically, just not making a second game and just adding any more content. I, I think it's a great idea. I think it's awesome because of the fact that uh, it gives um, it gives them the opportunity to um, add more content. You know, DLCs, make it as a DLC, stuff like that, and um, implement more maps and more abilities to do things. Um, which again. Mess with the reactor, the door, the lights. I mean, they're they're they they're gonna add some more features. We just don't know what those features are. Yeah, um. Yeah. So, you know, you just gotta you just gotta wait and see what happens. Um, and and see what type of features. But we will keep you informed. Um, you know. In the next podcast, if they do, you know, present those features and stuff like that into Among Us, which is, I got to say, the most, the I got to say, the, the number one game right now on Steam. Because yeah. in just September alone, in just September alone, they have over 41 million downloads in one month. Yeah, but got addicted to that game. Yeah, I mean, it, just like Fall Guys. Fall Guys, Fall Guys Fall got Guys. The, the, the popularity and everything. But the thing is, is that with Among Us, the devs weren't prepared. They they didn't think that this game was gonna blow up, and, and it, did. it did. And now we have forty one million uh, people playing Among yep. Us. Um. And there, there are more just just downloading the game, literally. Uh, so right now, followed by, so in August, okay, Among Us earned eighteen point four million mobile downloads in August, only to be followed by another forty one point nine million. So basically. Probably about 55 million people downloaded the game on mobile. Yeah, and it's free. With ads, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, with the success that, they, that they're that they getting off of this game, it, it's freaking awesome. Oh, what ads? Yeah, there's ads on <clears throat> mobile. When you load into the game, it gives you an ad. Which again, I which don't is... have... it's still you still can still play the game. <laughs> yeah, wait, thirty Bloody minutes, says, thirty seconds. Bloody says he doesn't get ads. <laughs> Cause bloody special. <laughs> bloody is bloody. What are you talking about? All right. So Among Us, there, there's not going to be an Among Us two. There's only going to be a Among Us with some uh, newer maps, new features, things like that that's going to be coming up. Um, so 
con- you know, congratulations to the devs for for making a a awesome game. I mean, I enjoy it when I play with the community. Oh and stuff. yeah. So um, yeah. I, I do hope to see some but some more features. Work on the servers, based on the private servers. When people are trying to play by with friends, we don't want other people coming in. We don't know. Or not in our group. Yeah, which is why they they make those codes, but um, they they you you've had some people come into the into the games and stuff, but um, I, I do I do hope that the the new features and stuff that they do implement into it, uh, new maps. I, I do hope for for new maps. Um, that would be awesome. And then also at the same time, I would think that it would be cool that if a, a um, if an imposter can can set traps yeah that would be pretty cool set traps and he, instead of getting his hands dirty he can set traps in like you and know the victim can die easily i i i think that would be cool and then at the same time too for the survivors there needs to be something that they can you know if you have more than one imposter you, you should be able to, um, I don't know, maybe have abilities or something to, to run, uh, run faster or, you know, um, give, give some of the survivors a, a more of a, uh, abilities, I think, because of the fact yeah. that, you know, you're just going around completing tasks and it, that's all and you get to do. And, and when you your task is done and you try and... You got nothing else to do. What, what's the point? If the task please, they have some more task for the people that is playing. The killer definitely need to be have doing tasks, <laughs> not just dead by them. daylight in space. <laughs> Pretty much what that is. Oh, I'll man. play that nonstop. Um, but but, but that's. For a but that that's basically it guys. Uh Among Us 2 not coming. They're just gonna they're just gonna add more content to Among Us. Um which which I'm happy about. So it's gonna be awesome. Alright. On to the next one. Which is this is actually a pretty big one right here. Um Sea of Thieves is raising funds for cancer research with the swanky new sales of union so let's actually check is this a trailer bloody save the tatas <laughs> oh my god all right so is this a, a trailer do you know what the tata is buddy Anyone know what the tata is? All right. <laughs> so I um, don't get that reaction from you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so stand up for cancer with sales of Union available from September twenty eighth to November sixth, twenty twenty. All right. So, <laughs> I've been supporting causes for years. All right. So, the new sales were created in partnership with the Stand Up to Cancer charity. Uh, see if these players who like swag glow in the dark sales and want to do uh, solid for the fight against cancer have until November 6th to indulge. In- indulge both interests with the sweet new set called the sales of union uh developed in partnership with the stand up for cancer charity sales on the union are available for six dollars on steam or microsoft store the look uh they look great during the day but really literally shine at night when they're hiding Starfield patterns become visible. Uh, they might even be actually constellations, but I'm not sure 
I'm not enough of Stargazer to pick any out. Feel free to lend a hand if you are. So basically, I'm guessing that the, the money that you purchase for the sales goes basically straight to Stand Up For Cancer um, organization. 75% uh, yeah. of the funds raised through the sales of Sales of Union on Steam and 100% of funds on the Microsoft Store will be donated to Cancer Research UK in support of the program or for purchase made from the US directly to stand up to cancer. So that's actually uh, that's actually awesome. But yes, uh, Steam, I mean, literally taking only giving 75% instead of 100 Microsoft coming in saying, you know what, we're going to do 100. Yeah, uh, which is kind of messed up, which I have it in the Microsoft store. So, you know, if I do get the sales, I, I will get it through Microsoft instead to make sure that they give uh, today so today, so make sure that they get 100 percent of the uh, donation. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, whoever wants to play CFDs, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down to play. Have you played uh, CFDs, Adora? No, I want to play it. I I like it. It's so interesting because you're you start on a ship and you, you go you, you, killing you, other creatures. You get to be people. a pirate. Yeah, that too. So, um, it, it's cool. And also, you know, you can go for, you can go get the booty. <laughs> no, no, Dora, nothing, no. Yeah, you can get booty. You don't want booty? I want booty, but that, that kind of booty. <laughs> oh my God, hold on guys, my green screen. Um, okay, so. All that booty. <laughs> I want the money, honey. All right. Here, here's our next one. And this is actually very, very interesting. Um, because you know how the DMs, DMCAs have been uh, popping up and everything and all this other stuff. So Twitch is now uh, doing soundtrack features debuts today. And it... Uh, it will let streamers play music while they are live. So what a coincidence. DMCA'd, which it's it's really cool that this is happening, right? Because of the fact that, again, you know, it is boring when all you're doing is watching somebody play. And let's just say there's no sound in the game and this is all you hear. Now, if a, if, a, if a person is playing a game and you can hear the game sound, that's cool. But what if they're just sitting there? Not saying you what. Do you see how boring it is? This is why yep. streamers use music. Because it still puts in that entertainment by being able to listen to something. Um... um so it's it's very interesting on how things are developing with Twitch and and I'm I'm actually happy. I'm actually excited that Twitch is taking that step to helping us get that entertainment to people. Um so today Twitch released um soundtracks, a new product that allows streamers to play music while they are live or at least uh, that's the simplest way to explain it. Uh, if the product works the way Twitch says it does, soundtracks will be much more than just a way to play right cleared music while you're broadcasting. It might change how you think about using music on Twitch entirely. Um, disclaimer, uh, this channel has no affiliation with any political parties. That is correct. Yes. Um, 
let's see. Uh, it might change how you think about using uh, music on Twitch entirely. The issue that soundtrack is uh, solving is pretty simple. If music is copyrighted, you can't use it while you are streaming unless you have the rights to those songs. If you do happen to use copyrighted music during a pod, uh, broadcast, there's not a whole lot Twitch can necessarily do because it's being played live. If viewers make a clip for your broadcast, however, or a VOD of the stream is left online, it's possible that the streamer will get copyright strike from the original rights holder. Three strikes means a permanent ban from Twitch. It also is worth noting that the, the VODs are automatically muted if, they found, if they're found to certain copyright music. Twitch streamers will, uh, were also hit with a wave of copyright strikes from labels back in June. Sometimes from year year old clips that had no handle in in um no clips they had no hand in making, which again you know the disclaimers are pretty pretty messed up. Um, so again, here it is right here. Uh, the way you get to it. So if you're watching the stream streamer who is using soundtracks in their broadcast, you'll see some thoughtful additions from the Twitch production team. At the bottom of the stream, there's a widget that shows what songs is currently playing, uh, which updates live. It also links to the artist's Spotify page and their Twitch channel if they happen to have one. So there it is right there. View of the soundtrack. This is what it looks like. So it, it kind of looks like... Um, Kind of looks like Spotify. Mm -hmm. Or pretzel. So, I mean, it, it mostly looks like... This looks like a Spotify playlist. Because I, I can show you. Look, side by side. Where, where's my Spotify? Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, yeah, I mean, it, it mainly it looks just like a Spotify. Um, it's basically using virtual audio cable for your music, but on Twitch's side, so they can easily mute the music, but the voice in talk will be their separate. Uh, it will be separate from the music. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's wow. actually awesome. So basically, if they need to, they could just remove the music without removing your voice. That is actually cool as hell. I I, I do. I do think that that's awesome. So we'll actually look. We'll 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 look into it. I mean. That, that's that's going to be very, very interesting. Um, but for for them, for, for Twitch to actually, you know, make it the way, you know, to, to make it the way it is, um, to, to help us get some music into streams. This is actually cool on Twitch's side. What, what do you think, Adora? Do you think that this is a good idea and this is, you know, helpful? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought we thought you did stuff like that in my stream. Well, apparently oh, it's, yeah, it's my dude, so. I mean, apparently it's out now, so uh, people can use it now uh, for us background music junkies. <laughs> oh man! Um, Boy, you're messing with me this week. <laughs> I'm sorry, we can make yours up too. What? You music put me to sleep. My music? How dare you? I said I'm sorry. I said I said I'm sorry. But it's the truth. Alright. I like so, uptime music. I like to stay awake dear stuff. But when I time to go to me, go to bed, I need a snoring person. <laughs> 
Hard Give style. Me no worries. Hard style EDM. Um, let me see. So now with uh, with them, you know, doing the the stuff that they're doing, right? Uh, let me see. Binks cards. Uh, let me see. Monkey Wizard. Oh, Let's do this. <laughs> I'm picking, bloody. I'm picking. You guys, you just not that easy. I'm <laughs> like, hey. hey, I will um, come to the freaking stream to listen to the music. It and protects. Watch the no, no longer adorable. Ah, uh, you're no longer adorable, Dora. <laughs> oh, I can, I can give him a big kiss <clears throat> on the forehead. How you doing, Austin? Nice guy. Welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, so Bing, Bing. next one, ladies and gentlemen, free PlayStation Plus games coming in October. They've already uh, made the announcement. Um, Vampire is going to be one of the PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation uh, free games of October, starting October 6th, I think it said. And then yeah, also, think. Need for Speed Payback is going to be free on PlayStation. So, yeah. Those two games will be um, free for the PlayStation, but not the PC. Dora, make sure you put in Binks Ray. We're going to be special featured on Binks. Um, so that's pretty cool. Have you, have you played Vampire yet? No, I wish I could. Um, and then, or how about Need for Speed? Hell no, we'll never play that game. You'll never play Need for Speed? No. Why not? I crash and burn. <laughs> How you doing, Seeker270? Welcome, welcome to the me. stream. <clears throat> this man is trying to make me play and um, drive my car by myself. Oh, on, on GTA? <laughs> yeah, I try to get Adora to play, uh, to drive her herself. I still don't have you on PlayStation, Rican. Um... That's because I'm hardly on the PlayStation. My son is more on my PlayStation than I am. Um, but I, I will send me send me your friend's request. Cosmic fixed. T. It, it's the same as my Twitch. Regan underscore player. Uh, send send me a request and I'll accept it. Maybe you could play with um, Cosmic T. Maybe you could play with uh, Mini Regan or not Mini Regan, uh, Little Regan when he comes over. He, he loves he loves the game you love. I'm not gonna mention the name. Adora, don't you dare say it. <clears throat> um Why are yes. you little little Rican will will play with you most definitely if you wanna play that game. I don't play Fortnite on PlayStation. Damn it, I is Damn it, Cosmic T, you got me saying it. <laughs> I didn't say it! I told so I didn't say it. So I was gonna like get home. I was gonna like to go and stay home. Can't believe it. Can't believe you made me say it. It's Fortnite. All right. So. You can get Vampire, which is basically you are a doctor that actually becomes you get bit by a vampire and you are I'm not going to tell you the entire story, but you're just basically a vampire that's trying to get trying to stay alive and also trying to find a cure for yourself. So that's that's what Vampire is. Um, it's it's really, really good. Um, I, I would most definitely play it uh, if, if you enjoy it. Um, has anyone in chat played Vampire yet? Um, wait, 
what who was playing with Jinx Reekin was? What the fuck? Wait, what? What was I playing with Jinx? So was Little Regan playing with Jinx the other night? Playing what? You just been outed for playing for I did not play no Fortnite. I can tell you that right now. Yesterday no. I was playing uh with Adora yesterday. What were we playing? GTA. Yeah. GTA and yep. then we played uh Um This was day before playing uh, the ghost game oh yeah we were yeah we were playing the ghost game nope wasn't playing no fortnite it's just been out uh no i haven't been outed because again rocket league yes i did play rocket league but i did not play with jinx no i was there i was watching the whole voice through so it went yep. up a little no you were playing uh i was playing rocket game. league not just Rockley, you were playing the, the new game you got for your birthday. Oh, the, the Remnant, yeah. I was playing Remnant. And I was the hell of that game. No, I mean, we need to play Rocket League. Okay, we'll play one day, Cosmic. We'll play one day. Um, what system? So, PC or...? I, I only play I only play it on PC. I only play Rocket League on PC. Um, okay. But your your PlayStation games are Need for Speed, Payback, if you're liking those, that, that high-speed racing. The only thing I don't like about, like, the new Need for Speeds right now, uh, compared to the old ones, there's, there's not really a full, um, moderation for the cars. Like, it, it doesn't, doesn't give you the ability to, to moderate everything in the car. That's what took away, the, you know, Need for Speed took away from me in, in liking racing games. Um, no, I mean, we need, uh, he only I'm plays everything play. on PC. Yes, I do. I don't play on PlayStation. I will be playing on PlayStation when the PS5 comes out and I get my, uh, my capture card in, into the, the PC, but I'm not putting in my capture card in until I get the PlayStation 5, which... I will play Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I can't wait for the new Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Miles Morales, which I can't wait for either. Cyberpunk 2077, which I can't wait for that one either. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> so, but for for PlayStation, I would definitely, definitely recommend getting Vampire if you, if you like that, that horror story type uh, of game. Uh, look at that and then for need for speed uh payback was like i said okay if you like those racing games uh like you know demon speeder but again like bloody saying it's free okay who doesn't like free <laughs> um but but there it is right there uh enjoy those two like i said October. Oh, damn. What is this game? <laughs> uh, all right. So here we go. Um, Jai Goku, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon Go Zap Zapdos guide guides and weaknesses to get uh i guess i guess get zapdos you know uh what do, what do you guys think who who wants to get zapdos i wish i could zapdos easy catch i've had five tonight nice when i want to trade me a zapdos for like a a pixie or a, a jinx <laughs> or 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 one of those. <laughs> or one of my. I got Pikachu. I got a bunch of Pikachu. You can have. I don't have a Pikachu. I literally just started playing Pokemon Go. Literally just started playing. So, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like bored. Just my brain is like, yeah. Um. Dang. But let's see, Weakness's encounter is rock and ice Pokemon. So if you're gonna try and catch Zapo, uh, Zapdos, 
um, use, make sure that you use a rock or an ice Pokemon uh, for him. Um, Golem is a good one. Rhyphorier is, yeah, is another good one. Add me up, Rican. Gosh, see all these things you don't have me on. Switch, PS, Pogo, Jeez. <laughs> oh my god all right so let's see uh zeptos will return a five star raid starting september 25th uh does it say all the way up to october 2nd raid battles do not follow a set schedule but you'll receive a notification in game when one is about to begin a nearby gym Okay. So you should have your trouble finding. You shouldn't have trouble finding a Zapdos uh, raid. Your best chance to catch Zapdos will will come on Wednesday, September thirtieth, when uh, Neactic holds its regular raid hour event from six to seven p.m. local time that night. Most gyms will be taken over by. Zapdos is raid, which should make it easier for you to find a and battle the legendary Pokemon. Um, That'd be cool. Raid hours is today, Rikin, you slacker. Listen, listen, I have priorities, Cosmic T. Like me giving you this information on the podcast at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was GTA Mama that called me a slacker. Wow. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. So, Zapdos, you can get today, which is 7 o'clock right now, guys. 7 o'clock. Um, well, they have... Listen, bloody... They are using the same exact color on their name. So it, it is really hard to see the difference when they're using the same exact color. But one has a sword. <laughs> I don't need the, the shield and sword Pokemon game. Do you? Yeah. Do you do you play Pokemon Go, Adora? Oh yeah, <laughs> a lot. Uh huh. Got any legendaries? No legendaries, but you do play Pokemon a lot. Yep. <laughs> when it's not too hot or not too cold, I go out. Gotcha. So you only go out when it's cool enough for you to go out. Mhm. Mm All right. Um. Does anyone have any good um, good legendaries in in their in their decks for Pokemon Go that they would like to share? Let us know what what you have. Um, what is your best one? What is your number one uh, legendary uh, Pokemon? I do. I have loads. You have loads. Mew and Mewtwo. Nice. I, I, I don't got neither one of those two. It's too hot for that right now. LOL. Yeah, I've been playing since it came out. Nice. Nice. Um, but let us know what what uh, legendary Pokemon you have in your in your Pokemon Go, and and uh, we'll read them out. Um, and, and you know check check those out. My favorite was the Nine Tails. Nice. Um, oh. I'm getting warning to stay indoors from my pogo. Wait, you can't. You are they locking you guys down in California? Uh, bloody. All right. <clears throat> so while we're waiting for people to put in what legendary Pokemon's they have in their in their Pokemon Go, uh, we're gonna go on to the next next topic, which. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you feel about this, Adora? Microsoft acquires Bethesda. 
now is now things are going to get interesting because of the fact that Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft, which means all Bethesda's games are going to be exclusive to Xbox. That's fucked up. That's completely fucked up. That that sounds Most just like Most games can can't be crossplay because some um like uh Fallout 76. Fallout 76 can't be crossplay at all. So that means that there there could be some some lockdowns on some games. <laughs> yeah, and I, I would just delete that stuff completely off my system, off my PC completely. Uh, so Microsoft is acquiring Bethesda, the studio behind Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and more. Microsoft announced seven point five billion dollar deal to purchase ZeniMax Media which is uh, Bethesda's parent company, which also includes studios like ID Software and Arcane. Thanks to this deal, you'll see Bethesda games coming on Xbox Pass, including the upcoming Starfield is going to be on the Xbox Pass as well. All my shinies okay, are crap. Wait, you have shinies? My favorite, uh, let's see. My favorite legendary, I have my Moltres and Mewtwo. Best is the shiny Zapdos I got this week. Nice. And then Bloody came up and says that he doesn't have any shinies. Poor guy. I'm sorry, Bloody. Feels bad, man. They have shiny Pokemons now. <laughs> Apparently for ages, GTA mama. Um, so so with with Bethesda being owned, so that means that I mean again, what what do you you said you 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 like Fallout seventy six? Oh, I love the hell out of it. My character now, is a melee weapon girl, and she will kill anything that comes to her path, including players too. <laughs> <laughs> I think you want to play. So, if if, if they before I started streaming, now does it mean that Bethesda Launcher is going to be shut down, right? No. So so you'll still be no. able to use the game. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll 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 find out further. Again, we'll find out further what's going to happen with Microsoft now owning. Like, are they going to? make everything exclusive to Bethesda and Microsoft, um, you know, and things like that, which again, you know, Bethesda has had a really bad run. So it's, you know, yeah. people are making a little bit more of a big deal about the game um, than they, than they need to because of the fact of, you know, Bethesda's latest reputation with, you know, Fallout 76 being garbage and then them taking really, really long with Elder Scrolls 6, um, which people are still waiting for till this day. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played the one online at all. Uh... <laughs> so Cosmic T is going for Zapdos raid and GTA Mama says, good luck. Bloody says, invite. And she goes, it's not my host. I can't bloody. He goes, bleep. Wait, wait, wait. Bleep. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, who knows what moves Microsoft is going to make, you know, with, but, but it's cool for, for Xbox owners. They're going to be able to, to play. Bethesda games when they come out uh, Starfield is one of them It's going to be exclusive on the Xbox And Bethesda launcher So But again let's see how Microsoft Changes see if they can If they're able to change Bethesda's ways You know what I'm saying and and make it A, a little bit better Hey Frey Frey how you doing welcome to the stream How's it going Oh yay Bethesda games in 
a new a new dated with people who don't know how to play. Yep. This guy's trying to play. Um. Yeah. So it, it's going to be very interesting what Microsoft does. It will be a cluster F. Sounds like a plan. I mean, it sound it does sound like a plan for for Bethesda, you know. And, Bethesda and them. keep um their servers on Fallout seventy six. They keep crashing every few seconds. All right. And probably prove that <clears throat> that'd be nice. And then also another big move on Microsoft is Xbox Game Pass is getting EA Plays games in November 10th. So they are in collaborance with EA. Another cluster mess up. <laughs> uh, bloody, oh yay, microtransactions, woohoo! Uh, so Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers will get access to EA Plays just in time for Microsoft Next Gen Console launch. EA is arriving on Xbox Game Pass uh, Ultimate on November 10th, the same day that Microsoft uh, launches both the Xbox X and the Xbox S consoles. Only Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers, which they pay $14.99 a month, will get access to EA Plays alongside the xCloud and bundle Xbox Live Gold benefits. So, uh, for those of you who are going to be Xbox Game Pass Ultimate uh, subscribers, you are going to be able to play all EA games. So that means um, Madden 21, NBA, uh, you know, NBA Live or something like that. I think it's, yeah, I think EA does NBA Live. 21. Yeah, they do. Um, not NBA 2K. 2K is owned by 2K Games. Um, you know, NHL Hockey, you know, uh, Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 4, Battlefield uh, 1, Anthem, um, Sims. If you like Sims, you like Sims? Oh, yeah, I do. It's going to be on the Xbox Ultimate Pass for $14.99. <laughs> Coach Carb, how you doing? Welcome. Chucky, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, You're not going to save money up for getting me Xbox. And there's one. I don't wait, want to know get the X or the did, did, S. Did you say you're getting the Xbox? I don't know why I want to get the Xbox X or the S. I mean, I thought saving money up. Get out. <laughs> I own two Xboxes. <laughs> that, 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 how <laughs> dare you? I, I um, both systems. Hey, hi, me V. How you doing? Zim, I'm not late. Y'all just too early. No, we're not. Six o'clock, sir. We started at six. Six every other Wednesday. If I, buy, um, if I pre ordered for the X, Coach I locked. I didn't Bye. Locked within an autumn and cold yeah, with get two laptops. System, so I gotta wait, <clears throat> wait, wait, wait for a long time. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just doing Sony. That's it. Sony fan all the way, baby. Um, but what, what's, it, what, what's cool it about it is that, what, what's cool Sony. about it is that Microsoft is making moves, signing a, a contract with EA. So basically, if you get the ultimate pass through Xbox, you're gonna be play. You're gonna be able to play all EA games um, through the Xbox Pass. So I got an Xbox reserved. Good for you, Zim. <laughs> bye bye, Zim. Um. So I read the price to buy before I get the Xbox. So with, with that, you know, with that being said, you know, them them signing, uh, getting Bethesda for seven point two billion dollars, then also signing a contract with EA. I mean, they're they're making moves. They're they're doing stuff that you know 
that they should have done a long time ago. Um, about to get that PS5 pre-order. Yeah, I, I'm going to wait, Zim. I, I'm, I'm wanting to see if they come up with uh, exclusive game consoles. Yeah, I, so, I wonder the same. Crossing my fingers for for two. I, I I'm I'm hoping for two different ones. Okay, the the first one um, that I would love to get, and if they do announce it, is the Miles Morales PS5, which I would think would look sick as hell, having a PS5 with the Miles Morales Spider Man logo on it. Oh, would that look uh, sexy as hell? Um, oh, and or my second one is Cyberpunk 2077 PS5. I probably go to Cyberpunk. Those would be the two that I would want. Um, I really want to see the Spider Man difference with the PS4 and the PS5. Um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now, dude. There's gonna be a big, big difference. Big difference. God of War PS5. Oh, Jaime wants a God of War PS5. Um, I mean, we've we seen the trailer. Ima imagine imagine the, the symbol that they put in that trailer for PS uh, the God of War 5. Have that on the PlayStation 5. Glowing with the words, you know, the symbols and stuff around it. Oh, that would look sexy as hell. All right. You never get him off of it. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Should 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 we do this? Should we should we do an, an art contest to see if, if someone can can make a their their favorite PS draw their favorite PS5 model? Yeah. With with you, you know with with their game, I think that would be cool to see yeah, if somebody you know people to submit pictures of what they would like their play their PlayStation Five to look like, um or you know Xbox Series, which you know. It's it's a box. It looks ugly. I want Thor and Kratos on the PS5. I want Black 2. I can dream. <laughs> yes, you can dream, Zim. You can dream. Um so so that's that's basically it for, for Xbox, you know, the, the two main biggest stories. You know, them buying Bethesda and then also signing a contract with EA. So you're going to be able to, uh, if you get the ultimate pass, once again, you're going to be able to play all the EA games with all the Xbox games. Um, so Madden 21, you know, like I said, um, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Anthem, NHL, all the games that, that were made by EA. So if y'all never played Black, I swear... Best FPS ever. Yes, I I have played Black. I have not. <clears throat> All right. Because I don't want it. Here, here's our here's our next one, guys. The original Farmville, and I actually I had a conversation uh, with with Jinx about this actually earlier today. Um, okay. Jinx from Safe Space. Um, the original Farmville on Facebook is shutting down at the end of the year. Oh, really? Yay! <laughs> Adore is happy. <laughs> I uh, it in a long, long time ago. Cosmic's, Cosmic's not happy about it. Zim, no. Yes, Facebook will no longer support Flash games. It, it was a Flash game very, very long time ago. Nah, I am sad about voice chat. What do you mean you're sad about voice chat? Uh, <laughs> Jaime says Farmville Snorefest. <laughs> So yes. I had for my I had I had the Marvel 2 on my phone. Well, I mean, think about it, okay? So Mike um, Microsoft is has already eliminated Flash 
on on you know on Chrome and uh, Firefox and all this other stuff, right? So you, so Flash is is dying, okay? Because it, it's slowly going away, um, and Farmville is a Flash game. It's run by Flash. If you don't have Flash, you can't play in the game. You can't play the game. So, of course, you know, Facebook is is in a dilemma as well because of the fact that they're not using Flash no more. So, what's to come of this? Could they be getting rid of the game now and then probably revamping it in a different form? I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that... You think that there's going to be a different Farmville? No. Cosmic T says, uh, Farmville 2 is safe, FYI. No, it's not. <laughs> it's boring the same way. It's boring. It puts All it about sleep. buying your friends, MySpace. <clears throat> <laughs> she said yes it is it's safe <laughs> so Comment, guys I will come to your state and kick you in the booty so just so you know so Zenga who is uh, the, the original people that made Farmville is shutting down the game at the end of the year so the game will no longer support Flash games on December 31st. So December 31st is the very last, last day for you heyday people. Uh, not the booty I don't log. Play heyday either. I don't live in a state. I don't live in a state. Good luck. <laughs> no, you live in the country. And that's a, another whole side of the world, honey. I will so, come find ya. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you do you think do you think that they're gonna they're they're gonna revamp Farmville? I hope they do, and hope they don't. Really, I don't want them to. But, and you think they should lay the game to rest? permanently put that thing to bay and leave it in bay <laughs> and then put the damn graphic on the damn thing so what do you Is what it? do you guys think in chat do you guys think that they should uh do you, do you guys think that they should uh revamp the game in a different form uh do you think that they're gonna make an announcement for uh, a newer version of farmville or do you think that they're just gonna do you think that they're just gonna cut it and and say goodbye forever? It's Zim probably thinks more like, more like Formula <laughs> Three or something. The Farmville One, it's got the crop that it's already water every time you get lot back in, but when Farmville Two, you have to constantly water them every day. It gets up shit, it gets old. Gio's giving you a posture check. <laughs> yeah, thank you for scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> um, I will play Farm Sim. I have Farm Sim 19. Farming Simulator? I mean... I is, don't have that. Isn't that a better version of Farmville? <laughs> Yeah, definitely it is. I get bored watching it real quick. Alright. I've, I've actually never seen gameplay of Farmville. Never. Ever, 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 ever. So, we're, we're gonna look it up. Here we go, let's see. Farmville. Farmville gameplay. Hold on. Uh, I got 2019 free on Epic back in the day. Yep, me too. Oh my god, you guys are an Epic. You guys made me sick. 
All right. So here's Farmville. <clears throat> when you start to lean back too far in your chair, you get a lot smaller. <laughs> I can hear Geo. <laughs> I know. It's hot. I'm sweating my tits off. So this is Farmville. I don't know if I could play this. I heard nothing. Oh, this is a 2012 Farmville 2. Ah, it looks a lot better. So they upped the graphics. Yeah. Mario 2 is actually not bad of a game, but but it's more you gotta constantly feed the animals, replant, and they make you do <laughs> shit that you don't want to do. <laughs> Farmville 2 is where it's at. <laughs> All right. Uh, would it be really better? Very much. You gotta open a whole land and everything. Farmville. It, well, you're you're asking if Farmville Two would be better on on Epic. <laughs> yeah, because I'll never play yeah. it. I'll play it. Uh, let's I'm see. That's 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 2004. What is this? Did they make a Candy Crush version of Farmville? Yes, I know. Um, uh, don't you have to do that in Minecraft also? Yeah, I think so. No. I mean, I but... put a water source. Because it's surrounded by water source. It looks very interesting. Oh, that's, um... That's... Um... Okay, I so... Play that one. So they have a Farmville 3. That's the islands. That's Wait, the islands. Is this mobile? Yeah. Is this mobile? Yeah, that's mobile. Uh, don't you have to do the same thing as Stardew Valley? Yes. But you have to make sprinklers for the... So you don't know what about water the damn crop the whole time. When it rains, it rains. Well, that, that looks interesting. I mean, again, you know... Uh, Farmville... Mm, not my type. I mean, I, I I would try it, you know, just to see how how it is. Uh, I'm getting weird what weirdo. weirdo RCT vibes. What do you mean? I I just think I don't know. I I honestly just think that it, it's it's one of those where. You know, like, I, I've played Stardew Valley with Fedora. I've played, um, you know, Farm Simulator. I haven't played with, uh, I'm supposed to be playing with Static, but every time I ask him, oh, no, 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 I'm good, man, I don't want to play. You know, he's he's all about that, uh, he's all about that Call of Duty. Uh, I'm uh -huh. getting, oh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, the Roller, to roller Coaster Tycoon vibes, um... Wait, from Farmville? No. There's no way. I mean, I know just the way it looks. I mean, kind of, sort yeah. of. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's very interesting on, on how those things, you know, have, have come out. What? Uh. I think um, Stardew Valley is is made got from Farmville, the Farmville office. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon series, love it. 
I I had like I don't know uh, Planet Coaster. I, I I just think I just think Planet Coaster took over a uh, uh, roller coaster tycoon. Like I still haven't got the Harvest Moon. I haven't played that one at all. Is is Plucky saying that Harvest Moon is better than Stardew Valley? Is that what I'm seeing? Uh, and then uh -huh. saying I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay, well, well, go go to the bathroom, Zem. Um, when they are right next to the damn restroom. <laughs> Graveyard Keeper. Graveyard Keeper is actually pretty good. Uh, I played a little bit of it. Yes, very much so. Uh, did I shave? Yes, I did shave. I shaved just for you, Zamora. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to play Graveyard Keeper. Why don't you play Graveyard I Keeper, want the game. Zamora? <clears throat> um, yeah, so... I mean, again, so Sony, you know, coming out with some stuff uh, pretty soon. Uh, you know, pre-orders have been fucked up everywhere around, guys. Le left and right, up and down. I mean, pre-orders for the Xbox was bad. Pre-orders for the PS PS5 was bad. Pre-orders for the 3000 series were bad. Everything was bad because of the fact of, you know, people, you know, um, bot purchasing, you know, their, their, their stuff. Uh, so... Um, I know that Sony is trying to come up with uh, some more systems so they can do some more pre-orders. And then um, Xbox is doing the same thing. While NVIDIA is it, just literally just trying to get, you know, back on their feet with, with the orders. Because they, they've got a lot of pre-orders and a lot of people were turned down. Not only online, but also at the same time they were being, you know, uh, I, I saw, I actually saw a video of a gentleman that stayed from Tuesday and the, 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 the graphics card was coming out on Friday. The man stayed in his car from Tuesday to, to Friday to try to get this, uh, the RTX 3080, I think it was, that he was trying to get. And basically, coming in, waiting to get in line, to come to find out that the store only had 29 of the units. 29! And there was a freaking mad amount of people, like, literally going across the parking lot going trying to go for the 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 3080s i mean literally i don't know if i agree with the 70 dollar price on games zim the only thing i can say is look at how much the systems are coming out as i mean thank you zim for 400 499 dollars my birthday <clears throat> Yeah, four hundred and ninety nine dollars for the system, the Xbox, and the PS Five. I mean, they they got to make their money somehow, Zim. And the seventy dollar price kind of seems reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next month of a console, forty eighties. So you're you're gonna see that the. the not all they're not saying that all the games are going to be $70 but, you're doing but I they, know but it's comfortable this way <laughs> I'm not you need this all the time <laughs> but both you say like this um but uh the for for the price of the consoles right being $400 uh 499 I'm sorry 500 bucks um they they're taking a loss because of the systems. Now, with the games, not every single game is going to be $70. Their AAA games are probably going to be trip uh 
seventy dollars, but their their average games that they're gonna be coming out with remasters and stuff like that are gonna be a lot cheaper than seventy dollar price. So um, it, it's just a matter of waiting to see what's gonna go on. Um, I can't wait on the GPU. I probably I'm probably gonna get the thirty ninety at last minute. Uh, I'll wait till next month for the four forty eighties. Yes, and so so for those of you who don't know, AMD um, AMD is uh, making an announcement next. Well, this month is, is it October yet? No, next is, is it? We got thirty one days in, in September. Um, so in October, sometime in October, I think it was the eighteenth, is what was said. The rumor that uh, AMD is coming out with a four thousand series. Yes, um, 40, 40, 80s are coming out next month. Oh, 30 days in September. Okay, I was wrong. Sorry. Um, so, which again, a lot of people were saying, you know, around YouTube and stuff like that. They are, when, when they did announce the 30, 80s, that there was another... The, the 4000 series was probably going to be announced right after that. And they were telling people, I would wait. Even though the price looks great, I would wait. So, Zim, there there may be a f they, there may be 4080s that are coming out next month or or being announced. Reekin smoking crack, the hard crack. Ha ha ha. No, it's AMD, sir. NVIDIA already came out with the 3080s, the, the 3000 series. NVIDIA is not going to come out and surprise everyone with another graphics card, like right off the bat. I mean, one month later? Come on now. You're smoking crack, bloody. <laughs> I guarantee you AMD is making an announcement for graphics cards. So, yeah, but other than that, uh, all right, Adora, what are you doing for the rest of the week? I don't know. I, should, I don't know if we be cleaning or streaming. Um, more like I'm trying to clean house, so... I can get a cat. <laughs> New line releases release of the 5000 series GPUs. <laughs> I'll probably be streaming coming um, out tomorrow, but Friday I'll probably do Derby. I don't know. I have to have a game on playing. <laughs> Except Crash 4. Yeah, there's nothing coming out next month. Everything's coming out in November, Zim. Everything's coming out in November. Um, so what are you gonna be playing in these next few few days for the for the rest of the week? Are you are you gonna jump onto that ghost game? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't want to, but Happy's gonna make me. <laughs> uh, GTA Mama says I'll be buying some more Halloween stuff. Uh, no yeah, she's, you, mama. she's she's preparing for Halloween, guys. This is her favorite favorite holiday, which Mind is Halloween. You. Candy. <clears throat> um. Exactly. So, so any Conan? Any? Uh... I probably buy more Conan more because it's more my kind of game because I kill stuff. Ah, gotcha. I gotta work on the house on the uh, Conan. Cause you won't get able to. Oh, okay. Um, and then as for me, you know, this is my Friday basically. Uh, cause I, I do stream Monday through Wednesday. Um, so I don't know. Um, next week I will be playing some more Remnant. Um, which is. Which has been an awesome game. I mean, uh, I for 
you know, I had it in my wish list for a very long time. And then um, <clears throat> Zim TV, yeah, Zim TV just got it from for me on my birthday, and I've been hooked on it. It, it it's a really really good game. Uh, I just I just wish I had more people to play play with. You know, um, the game because. It, it is it is a team based type of game, and I mean you can play the game by yourself, but I think it would be more fun to play with friends and viewers and stuff. So, um, you know I'm I'm hoping that that we can get I can get some more people to play when when I do stream it. But um, been playing some Remnant, been playing some Conan Exiles, um, you know getting sometimes getting into um, Among Us. Ah, uh, honey, no, no. I'm gonna get Adora hey. to try VR. <laughs> no, 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 no. I honestly think that she would pee her pants, Geo. <laughs> oh man. Um, but you know, what like I said, Among <laughs> Us. Uh, I do sometimes play Fall Guys. Um. We we do sometimes do uh, GTA Online. Um, I I may I may I, I'm. I go away. I still haven't decided yet. Um, I'm I'm still trying to find um, a, a happy medium for me because of the fact that I do I I would like to get back into um, GTA RP. Um, but again, I I want to find. I want to find the right server and also uh, start working on creating my character. Um, but I, I'm once once I find my happy medium on GTA RP, I, I might start doing some uh, role playing GTA. So we'll see. I haven't I haven't found a server yet. I'd watch her stream that in VR. That's what Zim said. You will watch my stream of me playing VR. That that game. Yeah, crap. <laughs> that game, Adora. He he wants you to VR that game. Um, I know what he meant. Uh, Dorself, you have won a cozy sweater Binks card. It is now in your Binks inventory. Congratulations. Nexit, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah. Um, uh, that's that's basically it. Uh, again. We we do hope. Let's let's go ahead and wish uh, Mr. Bloody Zelos uh, some some good vibes because he is he is un he was unfortunately unable to to come to the podcast today, which is why we have. Really? <laughs> I got like a two year old. What a mama! Come rescue him uh... and me. So, um, that <laughs> that wasn't doing things today, so, eh. so, mind. um, yeah, um, basically, uh, it, it's, it's been a, it's, it's been a fun, fun week for me, like I said, playing Remnant, um, can't, can't say enough about it, Zim, I, I do hope you can get the same days off as I do, sir, uh, Monday through Wednesday, uh, I, I, I would love to play with somebody uh, that game. So thank you guys so much. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you once again to Binks uh, for sponsoring this podcast. I would like to give a big shout out to Adora286 for coming in, filling in for Mr. Bloody Zellos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I need to take a nap during the day when we ready for next podcast. And Bloody gets a tick again. <laughs> Bloody says, wow, getting ripped by Adora. I've sunken that low. I'm going to go take uh, some shots of Dayquil and take my ibuprofen. <laughs> you better get better soon or I'm going to kick your booty. Um, but... Uh, once again, yeah, thank you to, to Binks for sponsoring uh, this podcast. Also, I would like to also thank our, our other sponsors, uh, Anime for Humanity. Uh, thank you, thank you once again for, for being here. 
guys, Anime for Humanity are an awesome, awesome community group um, and organization. Make it hot, Daddy. Um, they they are a nonprofit organization. If Bloody can put in the the, the details in chat, um, but uh, thank you for for them for being a sponsor to this channel. And also would like to say a big thank you to Alibi Music, music to back up your story uh, for, for also being a part of this organization that we have here. Um, let's see who we're going to go right into, guys. Let, let's show some love to, to a member, somebody. Uh, let's see. Who are we going to go right into? Bloody Zettles already on second gallon. Wait, second gallon of ibuprofen? What? <clears throat> All right, so let's see who's streaming right now. We have. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go ahead and show some love to this gentleman right here, guys. Thank you, thank you once again. He's on two gallons of Dayquil. Jesus Christ, bloody. You're only supposed to take that like every, like once every 12 hours. Uh, wow. Missing, well, put your butt to bed and go to sleep. Missing timing with chat. Drinking more water, pe water peeps. Water, water good for the soul. Yes, water is good for the soul. Um, drinking more I've water, please. Already, already have my on water my right gallon. here. I'm not telling you what I'm drinking. <clears throat> hey, listen. You guys have a good one. As as the as the cat, you know, messes with the green screen. Um. You guys have a good one. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We will see you in two weeks. Hopefully, Bloody will not be sick. And uh, we'll, we'll get back into it. Reekin is drunk. Shh. Shh. You guys have a good night. See you later. We're going to go right into Mr. Oh, Horror really? Historian. You guys have a good night. Bye now. Bye. Love ya.